everybody. Um, happy Halloween to you. Today's Daily Tangle is called Back and Forth by Cheryl Lee's Haley. Um, pretty simple one. I think it's going to be one that you can really do your own thing with. Uh, you draw a alternating back and forth snake, you know, S curve kind of a thing back and forth back and forth and then on the open end you know opposite the curve you draw this little curve bit okay simple and then you put a line down the middle of it and then you shade or embellish or you fill the odd shapes or you pattern inside you use it like a string that one's colored. I think that was really pretty. <clears throat> Embellish as you will. So this one's going to be a really fun one to just, and see this one, they, they did the back and forth different sizes. I like that. You can do just about anything with this one. It's very, very um, easy to uh, make it your own. Um, so, I'm just going to just start drawing here. <clears throat> Today is Halloween. I hope everybody's going to have a safe day. Um, we're always careful at work on Halloween because we have a lot of people coming into the store purchasing liquor and stuff with costumes on and to be very careful to make sure that people who are underage are not trying to you know dress up as older people and try to figure out how old they are in order to sell them or not sell them liquor <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to I uh, hadn't decided yet what I'm going to do I'm going to make a line in the middle not straight I think maybe I'll do a double one like that so I'm just uh, I'm just doing whatever comes to me I'm not don't have any plan I want to kind of hide this crossover bit so I think I'm going to do some sort of pattern in here that will incorporate it um, maybe some sort of like stripe so if I do the stripe I will kind of incorporate something like that Yeah, see, if you do it right, you can incorporate that line into your drawing. Oops, I got a little carried away here, but that's, that's all right. So yesterday we went to the memorial service for my friend's husband who passed away. It was a very nice service. Lots of lots of good memories that people brought up and I 
I do not that not that I enjoy attending funerals as per se, but I do like the part of of uh, remembering somebody's life where um, other people go back further than from when I knew this person. Okay, I've only known this person for um, for 13 years, and it's not a close relationship. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of his life I, I knew nothing about, and it was really lovely to um, meet his friends from from way back and to learn more about him and his life prior to when, when I knew him. Um, that was really just quite nice. And I feel closer to him now that he's gone than, than I did when he was here because I really didn't know him that well. So, you know, I guess this good comes out of everything. Let's see. And so we want to make a kind of a swoopy thing here on these open spots. I think I'm going to make this swoop in different places. Some of them right up at the top, some of them down into the valleys. This one right there. This one right here. And then on the other side, do the same thing. Some of them lower, some of them higher. There you go. And then just as embellish as you would. Um, What do I want to do? I think I want I want to make those sort of a droopy thing right here. I'm going to do that. And you can do whatever you want in there. You can make a, a ribbon pattern in there. You could fill it with tipple. You could put some bunzo in the middle. Um, just anything. Anything that you feel led to do. I'm I'm really feeling the stripes today, so I think that's the direction I'm heading. This looks a lot like, uh, lately I've been watching on YouTube, um, the artists who do uh, abstract art using fluid acrylics or um, resins. Um, and this sort of drippy moving uh, 
rivers of color is really speaking to me right now. Um, I don't really have a space at the moment to really get out my paints and become super messy. Um, we just don't have room in the house at the moment. We're just full up of all sorts of things. So, you know, drawing with my pens, don't need a whole lot of room. I need a little space on my table. I need a spot for my uh, pen collection and that's really all I need. So, um, I've put away my, my paints for a little while. That doesn't mean I don't enjoy watching other people paint. Just like you guys seem to enjoy watching me draw, I enjoy watching people paint. So I've been really inspired by the flowing stuff of, of uh, fluid acrylic um, paintings. And there's a lot of them out there, and, and I don't have a particular artist that I really am following. I just, you know, you know how you get down that, that YouTube rabbit hole? Um, once you watch one thing in that genre, the YouTube uh, just sort of suggests, well, if you watch this one, you might like this one. And... And I just click on the next one and the next one and who knows what I find, but very, very soothing and interesting for me to watch. I want you guys to know that I, I do appreciate all the comments that that you um, when you take the time out to to comment on our, my videos I, I appreciate them um, you read them all not not that I have like an overabundance of them you know a couple a day so it's not like overwhelms me but um, you know I do read them and I take them to heart and so I just want to let you guys know I appreciate the the love and the support that you've been giving me it's pretty amazing Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that awesome? This is going to be kind of simple, I think. I could go all way crazy, but I think I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think I might put a little swirl here, though. Or a pearl, or I don't know. Yeah, swirl. Swirl good. Same thing over here. I think it needs, needs to end differently. I'll do like that. I like it just like that. Let me just shade it. Um, I think, let me think a minute about my shading. I think I am going to I'm 
both sides for the moment. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going off screen. Sorry, folks. Got in the zone. You know I'm getting in the zone when I pull it closer to me. And there's really nothing I can do about... You know. You know what? I just, I just came to a, a thought here. I'm seeing something different than I thought I saw before, and so I need to shade it differently. I need to shade this one on the side like this. But this one I need to shade down the middle. Okay, let me, let me kind of lift some of what I've already done. Let me let me fix some of this. And I'm gonna do it differently. I just just decided I'm gonna do it differently. Okay, so this one I'm gonna shade down the middle. And this one I'm gonna shade on the sides. Um, mostly on this side, I think. With a little bit on this side. Okay. So this one's going to be down the middle. Like that. And this one's going to be a little bit on this side. And a lot on this side. Like that. Don't know if you can tell yet. Maybe when I get, maybe if you, I get them a little, zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Down the middle of this one. And a little bit on the side of this one. And a little more on the side of this one. Can you see how that's that's making um, making this one go down and this one come up and then this one go down and this one come up and down. I'm going to do that throughout the whole thing. Down and up, down and up. So it makes it go down by putting the shading right down the middle. Because anywhere where you put the dark, the darkest indicates that it's further away from you than the light. So if I put that shading right down the smack in the middle, it indicates that this kind of curves in 
this way. And then this one needs to be highlighted at the top so it pops upward. A little bit extra on this side. And if I put just a slight bit more shading on one side than the other, then it appears that the light is coming from one direction more. See how that works? Now this one's a pretty wide, shallow, so I'm gonna very softly, I'm gonna turn my pencil to the side and I'm gonna very softly put that shadow in the, in the middle, but I'm gonna not make such a straight line like I did on those other ones. Cause it's gonna be a little bit fatter. Just a little bit. It doesn't need much. Just remember to get your, your um, pencil right up against your lines so you don't have a, a missing spot. Like right here I missed a spot and it looks funny. I'm going to come back and get right up against my line right there. You might not even be able to tell that on the video because I know there's some things that I can see with my eyes that you just don't notice on the video. And remember, good lighting is important. You really do see things differently in, in good light. There we go, I like that. Okay, a little bit right here. Right down the middle of this one. And it can go a little bit wider toward the end. And it's not much, it's not much pencil. There's, there's hardly any. Barely touching the surface, but it's enough for my eye to see that, that that difference in shape. Notice that it's kind of rare. This is the first time in a long time that I've shaded the underneath part first before shading. I mean, this is going to have to have a, a shadow, but I was first decided how I was going to do the under part before I dropped that shadow off of that stripey bit. Um, Yeah, it needs something 
but I couldn't decide exactly how I wanted it. Now that I have my um, high points and my low points, what I can do is decide which direction is my light coming from. It's coming this way, right? Maybe it's coming like this. I'm going to make it this side. And right at the these ones that are up, I'm going to put it right next to it. Okay? And these ones that are down, I'm actually going to make this shadow like this. So this shadow is actually going to go up and down. will kind of indicate how deep those those bits are just by where I placed that shadow it needs to be blended especially in this one see how this Shadow got much further away from the object. That kind of indicates that this valley is deeper than the one next to it. And then where it's right up on these ridges, it's like touching. So it's, it's resting on the top of these and drooping down. The shadow droops down underneath these other ones. I hope that makes some sense. See how that is? I like that. I like that a lot. I think it needs just a little bit of separation on this side, but just a teeny tiny bit, and it's going to go across the whole thing. Just a teeny tiny bit. Just to separate it. That's better. Oh, wow, that's that's nice. Okay. I'm going to zoom out. Oops, wrong direction back out I'm going to put the name of it which was back and forth and you know how last week we had all of our patterns were uh, started with an A well this week guess what they all start with a B B back mm. back and forth there we go. That is today's Daily Tangle. I hope everybody has a really safe Halloween. Um, you know, Be careful out there. You take your kids out. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. But be safe, most of all. You guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.